updates we are going to restart this apache http service so this is a step level to restart this apache service if it is system ctl not work you can use service http restart also and step 2 will to restart automatically when you boot next time on your system so that is the command to well if system ctl is not work you can use check config is a command to work so after that so i am going to verify this http is running on listening to on the port number 80 or not so first is the command to check this running http and then i am going to check the port number so this is a command 13 to check it so i am going using nano here and then type slash etc slash so on the screen so this is your directory or configuration file of apache uh, you can use one here is i need to find server name and server admin you will come with uh, server name you need to find my server name i find so just uh, what you have to do is press i with this line and uh, what you have to do is uh, keep this root also you can keep now i'm going to uh, remove this uh, root and in place of root i'm going to add admin here i'm going to uh, remove network my web in so that's you need to find one one more name here is your uh, server name you can see on the screen you need to find server name after that server admin so in place of this uh, uh, ww you need to give your uh, site name so example that i'm going to type dot so this is my uh, domain uh, website name which I have given test.cloudnetwork.in semicolon slash it is the port number so after that you need to save this file just escape semicolon w save this file. after saving we need to restart it by typing system system ctl not work you can use service http to restart now i am going to uh, type system ctl to make enable uh, this http service enable i make enable http service whenever you restart your system or server means that is going to be so type system enable http dot service press and enter so after that we need to check the port number whether is a run HTTP is running or not type net static fun a n t p to use grab then press and enter so if you get command not fun net static mean when you press uh, this command means if you get command not fun means so you need to install this package called yum install net tool after installing just this command press and enter so you can see on the screen i am getting this number 80 which is listening on httpd that is apache is listening on this uh, restarting to uh, add the api tables firewall configuration so for this one here is your 14 step 14 and 15 is a procedure for adding this uh, firewall to this uh, port number 80 to the permanents so you can disable it and uh, step 14 15 is a procedure so just firewall hyphen cmd yes, space zone use semicolon pub and use hyphen add so you can see now we need reload type firewall cmd this is hyphen reload press and enter now i am going to create a joomla uh, database so here first of all i am going to log in into the mysql database after that so i am going to set the password for this mysql admin with the step 19 to set the root password for the mysql fedora is a password which i am assigning you can give any password according to your uh, wishes you can give and uh, after step 18 is a procedure for this uh, 
to uh, login into my database then step 19 then i am going to create its uh, database after login into my database then uh, 20 and 21 as a procedure for uh, assigning this password to this uh, database we, uh, after that 21 is to flush the privilege uh, then 23 20 uh, two is uh, restarting this MySQL service and auto enable as startup uh, system. So this is a procedure I am going to do now. My SQL admin, you need to give fun you and type root and give pss what password give semicolon here you need to give Dora press and enter so just type this and to type root hyphen p press and enter typing the password for this mysql login now now we need to uh, login to the mysql here creating the database so uh, that is already mysql just type create and type database use Mm. Ah. So that has been created the database. You need to grant the permission all on Joomla. So then after that give dot star and to dash you need to give so after grant this Joomla and I say I have sent the password centers. You can give any password here in center dash you need to use pages to be yeah now I'm going to restart it by typing system CTL use restart and type Mara database dot CVS service uh, press and enter has been restarted now and uh, we need to type here enable type system CTL that is you restart your system next time you reboot it's automatically uh, come with enable this automatically enable this that is completed now we need to uh, the final step we are come the installation configuration of Joomla is there and so we need to open the browser and type the IP address of this your sent, uh, server uh, and then after that you, you can configure the Joomla step by step First, there is a database configuration is there. So we need to fill up database with the username database. Then we need to give username password which we set early in the step six for the MySQL settings. Click next. Then we need to set FTP configuration. Then install sample data. Then in uh, then we am going to install the congratulations. Uh, Jumila has been completed. You can see when you type the IP address 192.16.1.10, we came on the configuration main configuration enter the site name and descriptions so on the screen you can see uh, we have given the site name and the email address and the username the password I have given the own password. here I have been set you can set the language click to next here set the database configuration here so selecting we need to give username the password and the database fill up this uh, localhost Joomla and the password which we have given for the database account so after that, we need to click on So just check this And the screen you can see that is installing creating database and configuring the file We came on this year Remove so To proceed and then this uh, installation directory has been removed so you can check this administrative account directory is there so by default this multi language has been supported the steps here if you get an error saying that configuration file or directory is not rewritable then that means this you have to copy and paste the following configuration code to the configuration.php file so into the site root folder here is the link yeah, that you need to copy and paste the configuration file so Installation directory clicking but to remove the installation. If you get an error, the installation folder could not be deleted. So use the following command to delete them manually. So this is a uh, remove them manually the installation directory folder. So, 
paste the link you will be open this configuration file you can see just you need to copy and paste the configuration file into the configuration.php file it will be login as a root there you need to remove this uh, uh, file directory means here you need to uh, login with the username and the password so here username will be your admin and the password after typing this username on the password so you can see on the screen configuration is there and the user settings you can you can log out here uh, for any clarification please comment below to my video like us and share my video amongst your friends and relatives help to spread my channel thank you for watching anti cloud night video please subscribe to cloud night channel